Welcome to Smoke Signals, a hard-hitting news program for students, by students. I'm Riley. And I'm Jared. And welcome to Smoke Signals. First up this week, we have Mr. Walker with the need to knows on your field trip for the 26th. Take it away, Mr. Walker. Hey, everybody. This is Mr. Walker reminding you that October 26th, we will be leaving for our Auschwitz field trip at 740. Be sure to wear your mask, bring it, bring money for lunch. And as you approach this exhibit, be sure to have a, a sense of empathy. Please understand that the items that you will see represent a life that was murdered. It's gonna be a great trip. Looking forward to leaving on the 26th with you guys. Thank you, Mr. Walker. Now we go to Sophia with a lightning round with the superintendent, Miss Carrie Livengood. Take, Take it, it away. away. Okay. Let's go. Hello, I'm Sophia Martin here with Smoke Signals and here with the new superintendent and old principal, Mrs. Livengood. Now on to the questions. What have you enjoyed the most in your transition from principal to superintendent? Uh, just learning new things. I think um, anytime you can learn new things and challenge yourself in new ways, it helps you grow as a person and as an as a individual and as a professional for sure. What has been the biggest challenge in the new position? Not being with the kids as much. Um, you know, being in the middle of all of the action with the kids and even just being out with the staff and being um, connected on a regular basis with the kids. What do you miss the most? The kids. Definitely the kids. Oh, and the teachers. I love, this, I love the, the staff as well, but I, I miss you guys the most. What are your long-term plans for THS? Um, I think probably any superintendent would say that um, a long-term goal for school district would be to um, be financially sound, um, be able to hire good quality teachers that want to stay in the area. Um, and invest in the community and the district. I think we'll see probably in the near future, in the next few years, we'll see some probably um, some pretty big um, facelifts done to the campus and some projects to help um, make the rest of the facility and campus as good as what we have at the TAC and, and the other areas. Awesome. Now on to the fun questions. Yeah. What is your go-to buttercup coffee? Um, I will drink any coffee. I'm not a coffee snob, so Interesting. you bring me something from the other cup, I'm going to drink it. <laughs> What's your favorite action movie? True Lies. Arnold Interesting. Got to go with that one. <laughs> now, do you dream as a rocket, Indian, or wolf? Oh, no, come on. I have to say all the above. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is one place you've never been that you would like to travel to? Um, I wouldn't say one place, but I would say anywhere warm. I love warm weather. Now, Parker, Annalie, or Layla? Again, I have to say all the above. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. Thank you. What's it like having Miss Livingood in the office? I am really enjoying it. I've learned that we have a lot in common and her and I are learning a lot together. I'm here with Marla Swaby. Marla, what's it like having Miss Livingood in the office? Well, she's always positive and fun. It makes it makes the day go good. She is um, always has a smile on her face, and she genuinely cares about her students. So that's really a good thing. Thank you, Soph. And now we head out to the playground to interview some kindergartners. This is Riley at Recess, Halloween edition. I'm Riley, and I'm at Recess. This is Bennett. Why do you like Halloween? Because it's spooky. Do you like spooky things? Thank you. This is Kinsley. What's the scariest part about Halloween? Um, people scaring people. People scaring people? Do people scare you? Me too. I'm here with Sage. What are you going to be for Halloween? A black Red Ranger. Why did you pick that? Because it's cool. Thank you. I'm here with Emmeline. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Kit Kats. Why do you like Kit Kats so much? Because they're good. Thank you. I'm here with Cohen. Can you teach me how to trigger treat? Um. Yes. How do you do it, Cohen? Can you can you show me? 
Like, if we were at a house right now, what would we do? Say trick or treat. Say trick or treat. Trick or treat. Here we go. Trick or treat. Trick or Uh, we're here with Mr. Jeter. Uh, the junior class have been writing poems about emotion, uh, and Mr. Jeter has inspired some poetry. Faith would like to share one of our poems. Anger. One word says it all. The feeling of complete and utter frustration, fabricated by people. Mr. Jeter, mostly. <laughs> What's on his test isn't on the study guide. Anger grows. <laughs> The juniors and I are annoyed. <laughs> so annoyed that we wrote this about him. <laughs> he has his good days, but the bad days are really bad. <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> Thanks, juniors. Two, three. Yeah. Thank you, Riley. You're welcome. Now we go to Bo with student interviews. Bo, what is your favorite PE game? Hi, I'm Bo, asking Drew, what's your favorite PE game? Oh, I'm going to have to say basketball. Why? Because you get to shoot hoops and have fun and run around. Agreed. All right, Barons, what's your favorite PE game? Handball. Why? Mmm... It's a good question. It combines a lot of the games that I like. I think the only one it doesn't combine is, well, it's got a little bit of basketball in it. But this is a fun game. It's active. All right, thanks. Thanks, Bo. Alex, what's your favorite PE game? Long base, short base. And why is that? Because it's fun. Yep. Emily, what's your favorite PE game? Paramedic. Why is that? I'm not sure. All righty. And now I'm here with Morgan. Morgan, what's your favorite PE game? Volleyball. And why is that? Um, I don't know. It just says. It's pretty fun. Alrighty, what's your favorite PE game? Um, probably dodgeball. And why is that? I just like um throwing the balls and catching them and throwing it at people. I agree. Alrighty, now I'm with Miss Wood. What's your favorite PE game? Hot's foot, the one where you slide the bean bags and it hits your feet. And why is that? Because all the little kids love it, and I think even the junior high kids still love it. Thank you. All right, what's your favorite PE game? Dodgeball. And why is that? It's fun. Agreed. What's your favorite PE game? And why is that? Interesting. All right, I'm here with Mr. K. What's your favorite PE game? Uh, Matt Ball. And why is that? Uh, it keeps everybody moving. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Bo. And now on to JT with Wolfpack Sports. Take it away, me. What's up, Wolfpack? This is Jarrett with your Week in Sports. The girls golf team had a fun send off last Friday on their way to the state tournament. Alex Barnett got all state 13th place. Hi, this is Jarrett with Wolfpack Sports and I'm here with Alex, 13th place medalist for state golf. Um, how was your season and how was the experience? It was pretty good. We had a great experience with great weather. Um, I was able to play some good golf and take home 13th place and our team was really close to getting 4th so we took home a 5th place. Thank you. The team finished fifth place overall. Great season, ladies. The volleyball team finished its regular season this week. A three-set loss to Fall City on Monday, followed by a senior night victory in three sets over North Nottoway. The girls finish second in conference and start districts this Saturday at the TAC. The high school cheerleaders finished sixth at regionals and qualified for state in December in Springfield. The junior high finished fifth in their division. The cheerleaders also taught an elementary cheer clinic this week.
The EA Wolves battled their toughest opponent of the season against the Stanbury Bulldogs. We were twice down by two touchdowns and had to battle back from 20 down in the second half to win the game 48 to 42. We are now 8 and 0 and look to finish an undefeated season tonight versus Platte Valley at Hopkins. Go Wolves. Thank you, me. Now we go to Seth versus the volleyball girls. I'm going to destroy. Hello, everybody, and I'm Seth, back here with Seth versus. And this week, I'm going to be going up against the volleyball girls. And we're going to be competing in all sorts of different things. And I'm here with Miss P to hopefully get some tips. Do you have anything that can help me? Yep, let's start with you've got no knee pads on. Are you even going to hit the floor? I. I don't really know. Okay, and wear your spandex. What? For your spandex. <laughs> and your hair's not even in a braid. It's in a, it's in a, it's got a band. Okay, well, let's just at least start with a serve. Over and in. Okay, Seth, so the first thing we're going to do is just serve it over and in. And you have to have a routine before you do it. Here we go. We got a ball? Woo! Alright, Seth, to block, knees bent, keep a loaded base. You're gonna jump up, spread your fingers apart, and push over. Nice. Okay. Alright, let's try and block Jared. All right, well, thank you girls for showing me how to try to do the volleyball. And make sure to come out tomorrow and support them in district Saturday at the Tech. We'll see you. Good job, <laughs> Well, that was something. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Smoke Signals. Tune in next week for the Halloween edition. <laughs> All right. Shut up, Merton. That's it. All right, and now I'm in. No. Thank you. <laughs> Say thank you, me. Thank you, me. Yay! I'm Riley, and I'm at recess. This is Bennett. Sorry. Haley. Explain like. I don't know what I was gonna say. Okay, get over there by Riley. Goes down on the side.